country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it's so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today is probably a pretty quick video of my little cozy corner here right here in my living room there's my foyer over there I'll get my head out of the way there and then this is right around the corner and you can see I have a scroll piece there on the wall. And then below that, I have a picture that says, Our Family, a Circle of Strength and Fidelity, founded on faith, joined in love, and kept by God. Stacy made that for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. Stacy is my first cousin, and she's a whiz on her cricket. <laughs> and that's what she made that with. So I'm really just going to be doing a few things to finish up this corner here. First thing I want to do is I have a big tuff of flowers that I want to put back down in this vase and I have it laying over here on the floor so let me go get it and we're going to get it put right back in this vase I'll tell y'all I literally took this out of this vase and I tied it together with three tie wraps and that is exactly the way I'm going to put it right back down into this vase, just like that. So I'm not going to be rearranging it. <laughs> I'm just going to be putting it in, turning it this way or that a little bit just to get it situated. And that is going to be the end of that. Whew, that was tough, wasn't it? But that's why I took it out like that, you guys, so that I could do exactly what I just did. That looks pretty just like that. It is wild and crazy and big and massive and I love it. I absolutely love it. This is an arrangement where when we were in Nashville, all three of us, uh, Danielle, Danielle's mom and Dee, we all picked out a little element to go in this and all three of us are represented in this arrangement. And that's it. I love it. Just like that. It looks like a bunch of wild flowers and craziness, which is good. I love that. And other than that, I have uh, kind of arranged some things on the top of the table here. Nothing major, but as you saw, I kind of want to move this. I think I might put her back in the corner there. And my mom, this is my mom's Bible, uh, bridal Bible here that I always keep on this table. And this is a little light that needs a batter or a new light bulb, I think. A little prayer girl. And then just, I don't know what I'm going to do with these candles. I don't know whether I want to keep them both up here or get rid of one or do something different. I'm not sure what I want to do with those. It doesn't look bad like that. And then I just have this little, this little two-tier tray. And honest to goodness, what I have in this bag is what I had on the tray. So, <clears throat> I am just going to simply place these little things back on this two-tiered tray, blue and white dish, on the wrought iron table. And I don't have a lot, and that's by design. I don't want a lot on here. I want to be able to see the dish. And that is it. I might have something for there, a little bird or something there, and I need to change my light bulb. <clears throat> but other than that, that's it for over here. I need to plug in my little lantern here. 
And what I have, well, it's a little lantern, big lantern. What I have inside of this lantern is, uh, you can see I've got the, Chris has got it rigged up to, I don't know what in the world, how in the world he has this rigged up. Oh, I see the little, this down here gets plugged in to the wall. And then this plugs in, this plugs into the, little transformer, I guess. And what I have in here is a tree that I found from, oh my goodness, I don't know, I've had it for literally a decade, y'all. I want to say Kirkland's maybe, but it is A cherry blossom tree, I believe. I can't, I don't know which one is the front of this. Let me see if I can get this plugged in. I'll be right back. I'm going to fix this thing on it. Okay, guys, I had to get myself a chair. My hip is really bothering me. I'm doing this the same day as I did my foyer, if I'm honest. And, oh, buddy, my hip is killing me today. It's raining and stuff. I think that's, I think I'm a little arthritic. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Chris rigged up the lights for me, figured it out. It was really easy. There was an extension cord back there that I wasn't seeing. So he says, well, or there's an extension cord back there. I think all you have to do is, uh, I went, oh, <laughs> duh, sorry. So let me see how I had this on here. I think that's about it. And let me just do a little tweaking. This is just a tiered bow. Again, I had this, the whole lantern was out in the garage. Uh, and here it has a little blue on it. Out in the garage, up on a shelf, up on the top shelf out there that Chris, those new shelves that he gave me or made me or put up for me. Hi, everyone. I'm morphing in here. This is actually about Oh, I don't know, a few days later after I had done this video of this kind of cozy corner, wrought iron table cozy corner. And I got a surprise today come to me in the mail. I was like, what is this? What is this? And I was like, oh my goodness, look. Y'all know Sweet Bella D Designs? She sent me this two-tiered tray, y'all. Oh my goodness, is this not beautiful? And I am going to put this together and add this into this little corner that I've been working on here. So yes, I am. I am going to, and do y'all remember this? I wasn't gonna do this. I wasn't gonna do my three-tiered tray. But uh, now I'm gonna make this two-tiered tray. You darn tootin' I am. <laughs> because I have this beauty to work with. Remember this, my three-tiered tray that Chris had painted for me. This is very old, I've had this forever. It used to be black and Chris painted it cream. Well, I had this sitting out up on the shelves in my garage. So I'm going, I took everything off of these, this, and I'm going to incorporate it onto this beauty. And Bella sells these on her website, Bella D Designs. Please check down in the description box below uh, some of you have asked me, <clears throat> pardon me, about where to find the description box. By the way, if you look underneath your screen where you're seeing me, look underneath there, and usually it's to the right of your screen, there should be a drop down, an arrow. Hit that arrow and that should open up a description box. And that should show you all the links. You'll see my fairy light links. You'll see my links for my funky bow uh, uh, cheat sheet. You'll see links for uh, all kinds of stuff. My snippers and my hot glue gun and everything that I always put in there. Plus any links that I may add with whatever I'm working with. For instance, this two-tier tray here. I will give you a link to Bella's website and I encourage you to go and check out what she has for sale. This is beautiful. It has some elements of metal on it, which as you know, I absolutely love and, and working with a wrought iron table. So this is going to pair beautifully in here. And I've decided, let me turn you here for just a second and show you. I've decided to put it, to snug it right down here in front of my, my vase 
but I have this. Did I bring my scissors out here? Yeah, I did. I found this at Hobby Lobby the other day in their spring shop. Y'all, it was only, it was 50% off of, what is that, $11.99? It's like $6 for this, and it's metal. It's a little stand. So I went ahead and got this, and I thought, well, this three or two-tiered tray would look really pretty up sitting up on this. So I am going to go ahead and set this down here on the floor. Let me get you guys pointed down here a little bit so you guys can watch me work a little bit. So there, I'm gonna sit this right here, and then I'm gonna sit this beautiful two-tiered tray right on top of it, just like that. And I think that's gonna be beautiful, snugged right in here with all of this. And I'm not gonna be go wild and crazy with a bunch of florals, uh, but here is everything that I took off of this tray. I've got a few tufts of ivy. I Also, the same day I bought this little vase, the same day I found this, little uh, this little stand I found this vase and it was on sale for six dollars and 24 cents you can see that and this was in at Hobby Lobby and it's just kind of a blue and white kind of you know French country looking uh, little vase and I bought myself another tough of those blueberries these are the same ones that Candace got me for Christmas or like what she got me for Christmas and I ordered them from Amazon. And I'm just gonna put them in there, just like that. So I'm gonna use that. And I also have a salt and pepper shaker from Cracker Barrel. This is everything that I had last summer, you know, or late summer, early fall before I, well, actually this was in with my fall decor, I believe. Regardless, I've got those and then I've got three Little plates again. I think I got these when I was in Nashville at uh, Cracker Barrel there in Nashville. So I've got three blue and white plates and I've got one sphere, one little ball left. And one of you guys gave me this beautiful bird and I'm going to incorporate her into this beautiful, beautiful glass bird. And I've got a um, you know, hydrangea I cut up and a couple of white florals. So Let's get started and see what I can come up with doing this. Again, I don't want it to be crazy, crazy loud and, uh, you know, florally, but I do want to bring in the, the cottage feel. So let's just get started here and see what I can do. I decided I wanted this up on this corner, up on the top. And... I think I'll take one of these little plates. I had tiny little plate hangers, y'all know, and I do not know what happened to my tiny little plate hangers or plate holders. So I have a couple here. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to get this to work or not, but I'm gonna try to put one of the plates up here. I had tiny little metal ones that I might have to order some more of, and they would have been perfect. But Chris and I have been searching around here for the last 20 minutes and cannot find them. So I do not know what happened to them. This is a little bit too big. A little clear one. I think I might have to do Chris's little trick and put a rubber band around this so that they hold closed like that. I don't know that I can get this to sit up. Well, maybe. Let me add some ivy down low here. I'll decide, let's see, with the salt and pepper shakers. And I'm gonna get this little bird definitely up here. And really and truly, I don't want too much more than that on here, you guys, if I'm honest. I may put I think I'm just gonna leave the other ivy off and just maybe lay a, a hydrangea on. I'm 
some blueberries. These kind of blueberries. These are the kind that I bought from uh, the Dottie's Den shop we have here in town. And I have just a couple of pretty little daisies. Again, I don't want it over the top, y'all. I don't want it over the top. It's very simply designed. Soft and pretty, you know? I don't even know whether I'm gonna worry about this. I don't really have a place for this or the other plate. So I might put them somewhere else. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Isn't that pretty? I don't even have a place for it. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I think. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. I think it's really pretty. Okay, I love it. Just like that. Thank you, Bella. Thank you so much, Bella. I love it. I will cherish it. And it will be decorated throughout the seasons. You know that. You know that. So thank you so much, honey. I appreciate it. And thank you to all of you for stopping in here and for visiting with me and sitting here with me while I, I uh, did a little bit of decorating today. I just love to do this. I've said that about 5,000 times in this series, but this is my passion, you guys. Decorating is definitely my passion. I absolutely love doing it. It gives me energy and it fortifies me and I absolutely love it. It kind of anchors me, you know? It's my thing. <laughs> But anyway, I appreciate every single one of you who has taken the time to watch and then to comment and subscribe and all of those wonderful things. I appreciate every single solitary one of you from my very first subby to the very most recent subby. Thank you guys so much. So, 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 so much. I appreciate every single one of you. So let me just say also that for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, come on back, and I'll give you one last video of everything. And I think I'll wait till it gets a little darker so that, you know, the lights kind of stand out. But until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Thank you.